Ooh, <laughs> can I even show this cover on YouTube? I don't know. Okay, so the next one is This Christmas, and this is by J.O. Beck and Chalman, and I really hope I can show this cover on YouTube, okay? <laughs> friends welcome and welcome back to my channel if you don't know my channel my name is Sigrid and I make videos about books because I love them today's video is going to be a special video where I go over these special edition boxes these are boxes that you can get for a limited time not a subscription it's just something extra that you can buy um, and I've got a lot of them so I have the unplugged Christmas box I have the read her jumbo season of given box uh, i'll explain a little bit about that later i have a special edition box from hello lovely that i am super excited about because um, someone spoiled one of the books and that was in it and i'm just so excited about it because it was a book on my wish list i also have a special edition box from dark heart romance i also have a fey crate past items box that i just received today that i want to also throw in so we have a lot of boxes to get through in this video so let's just jump right in the first box I want to talk about was sent in this regular priority mailer. I don't want to show the other side because it has my address, but there's no fancy box. This is the Dark Heart Romance. It was a special edition um, box. I will put everything on the screen here. So the first thing I am seeing is an envelope with my name on it, which is really, really cool. It's very personalized. So I am seeing their little dark heart romance and then on this side there's a 15% off your first order which is pretty cool oh they sent me a Christmas card you guys it literally says to Sigrid have a wonderful holiday season XOXO dark hearts that is so cute okay, so it was very like safe so they sent a lot of fluff actually there's something in this one ooh Okay, so this is organic coffee and cream cups. It's 45% milk chocolate. So like a healthier version of a Reese's cup. Okay. Next thing I am seeing is this Amaretto Cocoa Mix. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is a cocoa mix. This is pretty cool. So I can kind of hear it over here and it has the uh, nutrition facts on the back. Next up, I have this mug and it was really wrapped in perfectly safe so this one says savage beginnings and it actually kind of have like this luxury kind of feel to it like it feels kind of pricey um so it has this like matte black coating and then it says savage beginnings on it and it's actually shiny on the inside so it's really cool i can definitely see myself having some coffee in this so there are two books that are outside of the box and then there's this giant box here that says naughty or nice so let's go over the two books that are outside the first one is called Christmas Obsession. This is by Darcy Rose. It looks like a novella. It says for months Vincent has watched his innocent young next door neighbor. He knows it's wrong but he can't get enough. She's his obsession. Shy, sweet, and incredibly naive. A true temptation. As a hitman for the mob, his job is something he doesn't ever want to touch her. So he keeps his distance, forcing himself to ignore the primal need to take her. All that changes on Christmas Eve when he comes face to face with fate. Unable to forget her sweet scent and soft smile, he knows he can't stay away any longer. He's going to get the ultimate Christmas gifts this year. His obsession. Okay, I hope this is like an age appropriate one though. I, I just really would hope, like hate if she's like underage because that's a pet peeve of mine. So hopefully she is of age and she's just like younger. That would be, that would be great you know all right so the next ooh, can i even show this cover on youtube i don't know okay so the next one is this christmas and this is by j.o beck and chalman and i really hope i can show this cover on youtube okay Ugh, don't kick me out of the program i started disliking him in first grade when he threw a frog at me and and called my pigtails stupid when we were in middle school, he called me four eyes and made fun of my freckles. Then in high school, he did something so bad, I swore I'd never say his name again. Look at his annoyingly handsome face, or even waste a single thought on him. And that worked out fine, mostly. Well, it, it did work out until he showed up at my family's cabin for the holidays. Turns out, his brother started dating my sister. Please, someone, kill me now. To make matters worse, I'm stuck with him in one room, sleeping in a bunk bed. Yeah, a freaking bunk bed. I haven't made a wish list since I was six, 
but I'm desperate, so I'm trying anything. Dear Santa, this year I only have one wish. Please make Jonas Wilder go away. Love, Hannah. That is so cute. So now this one I like a little bit more. This is definitely like a hate to love kind of thing. And also, yeah, I, I think it's going to be like one of those. So also this one is a novella as well. Very cute. Okay, so now we're on to our Naughty is the New Nice box. I believe this one was the largest box that you can get. I think there were other options, um, other smaller options, but I think I got the one with all of the books, which is why like there's some outside of the box and some inside. So I'm seeing some bookmarks here. I'm not going to waste um, any time on it, but this one has a tassel. Really cute. So I have a... Oh, so here is a book for 99 cents, and it's called Desire After Dark. And then on the back, there is a photo of this lady that I also don't know if I could show. There's some more promotional uh, material here as well. This one is for Pam Godwin. More bookmarks. This one looks like a decal of some kind, and it's it's literally in a different language. I have no clue how that, like, what that is. <laughs> and then there's another decal that says, A real book's battery never dies. That is so cute. I love that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, so, oh, wow. Okay. So this mug goes with this book. I just realized that. So this book is called Savage Beginnings and it's by J.O. Beck and Chalman. Um, they also make this book. So same authors. So this one says, it started with a single look, my obsession, my desire, and the need to possess the sweet and incredibly naive Alina Romero. Like a thief, I came in the dead of night and stole her away from her protective castle and placed her in a gilded cage made of gold. Her father knew I was coming, knew I had intended to make him pay. His empire was crumbling. He had no money, nothing of value to me, nothing except her. Oh, okay. I'm already like, I, I don't like this. His precious virgin daughter. Oh, I don't like this at all. Okay. In return for a debt paid, he thought I would break her, kill her. He had no idea what I had planned. She would become my wife. She would bear my children. She would bend to my will. Definitely don't like that one at all. So, yeah. That one, I don't think I'm going to read. That one I'm going to sell. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> the next book is called Sweet Temptation. This is by Cora Riley. She was wicked lovely and far too young. Why is this like a young thing? Okay, is, it like, is this like a theme? The first time Cassio met his fiance, she called him Sir. After losing his wife, Cassio is left to take care of two small children while trying to establish his rule over Philadelphia. Now he needs a mother for his children and someone who can warm his bed at night. But in a traditional world as his, choosing your wife is duty, not pleasure. Rules have to be followed, traditions heeded. That's how he ends up with a woman, a girl barely of age. Okay, I'm just going to stop here and say I don't really have a lot of triggers, but the one trigger that I don't really like is kind of like a super old guy and a girl who is not legal. And so like this is kind of like straddling that line. It's not that I don't like age gap. It's just if it's done right, it's just some things can be triggered because I don't like like child molestation. And so that is kind of triggering to me. So that's why I was like, I definitely don't like this book. Um, this one I will have to just see about, but I'm not really, it's, it's not giving me good vibes. All right. Um, she might not be what he and his children need, but she's wicked lovely and a sweet temptation he can't resist. I don't know how to say this lady's name at all, but it's Gulia. Always knew she'd marry a man her father chose for her. Only she never expected to be given to someone much older. Suddenly she's supposed to be a mother to two small children when she hasn't even held a baby in her life. Gwilia quickly realizes that Cassia isn't interested in a relationship on equal footing. Her mother always warned her that men of power like Cassio don't tolerate insolence. Yet, tired of being treated as a nanny and a clueless child bride, Gwilia decides to fight for her vision of a happy family. I mean, I feel like this one might be okay, but that other one, I'm just like, like if a guy goes in to say, oh, she's so innocent, sweet, she's this, like, and especially like this whole like virgin thing like that just makes me feel icky and I, I don't like that one at all. So let's see what else is here. Okay, you guys, so I am so excited. This book was on my wish list. 
people have been talking about it in the romance community and I'm so excited to have gotten it in this one. So this is Still Beating by Jennifer Hartman. Says, Every love story is worth waiting, no matter how messy it might be. When Cora attends her sister's birthday party, she expects at most a hangover or a walk of shame. She doesn't anticipate a stolen wallet leaving her stranded and dependent on Dean, her arch nemesis and ultimate thorn in her side. She really doesn't anticipate waking up in shackles in a madman's basement. To make matters worse, Dean shares the space in his own set of chains. After 15 years of teasing, insults, and practical jokes, the ultimate joke seems to be on them. The two people who always thought they'd end up killing each other must now work together if they want to survive. But Cora and Dean had no idea their abductor has a plan for them. A plan that will alter the course of their relationship, blur the line between hate and love, and shackle them with far more than just chains. I am so happy that I got this book. This makes the entire box worth it because indie books tend to be a little pricey and I think this one might have been pricey as well, but it's right up my alley. I love Hate to Love. I think my favorite one is The Hating Game. Like I like that banter between the characters. Like I'm just so into it and it seems like this one is going to have that as well. So I would think that I mean, I can give a, like a little recommendation that if you kind of like The Hating Game but want something a little bit darker, this might be it. So that's what I'm hoping for. So wish me luck. Ah! Okay, so another book that was on my wish list and I'm so excited about it. Dark Notes. I think I was watching someone who did this like age gap done right recommendation video, which I mean, I'm not against age gap as long as it's done pretty well. Um, and so this one is a teacher student relationship and I think it's a piano teacher, but I thought that it was, it sounded really good. It was on my wish list and I'm so excited about it. The first sentence is just, I don't know. So they call me a, I'm going to spell it <laughs> S L U T. Uh, maybe I am. Sometimes I do things I despise. Sometimes men take without asking, but I have a musical gift. Only a year left of school and a plan with one obstacle. Emmerich Morse, I don't know how to say this guy's name. Marcio, I know the X. How do you, Marceau? I'm gonna say Marceau. Emmerich Marceau doesn't just take, he seizes my willpower and bangs it like a dark note. When he commands me to play, I want to give him everything. I kneel for his punishments, tremble for his touch, and risk it all for our stolen moments. He's my obsession, my master, my music, and my teacher. Oh, wow. You guys, I did not know that this book was going to be this long, though. Whew. I just don't understand, like, what can be in a romance to make it this long. But I am excited about that. It was on my wish list. I'm excited to... Yes, I like teacher-student romances, though. Okay, the last thing I am seeing is a lip balm. This is from the Naked Ape. It's a plain lip balm. It's all natural, vegan, and cruelty-free. This is interesting. So there's... Oh, okay, you literally have to, like, stick your finger in and push it up. Is that natural? Okay. So I guess it would be more like, you know, there's not really a smell to it, but it's healthy and stuff. Oh, wait, there's more. Oh, there's two more things. Oh, wow, I didn't mean... Okay, the next thing I'm seeing is a candle. This one says Beck and Hellman. It's cute. It smells good. There's one more thing that I didn't see. Oh, so this is also by the Naked Ape. This is an oatmeal bar soap. Oh, wait, you guys. There is another thing. So this, I hope I don't skip anything. It's a pencil. It's literally just a pencil. So it says Beck and Hellman. BleedingHeartRomance.com. It's just a purple pencil that's unsharpened. Okay, I think it's fair to say I got everything in my box. I don't remember how much I paid for this one, but I think it was like a hundred dollars. If you were to probably add all of the amounts up for these books, it would probably reach that because I know that Dark Notes and this other book was kind of probably close to 20 if not. Um, because they're indies, so they tend to be a little bit more expensive. So I think getting it in a subscription box tend to like be a great way to save your money. And then you also got a few other things, um, like the coffee mug. I really like this, but everything else I probably could do without. Um, I'm, I'm happy with this one. There was just that one book that kind of gave me the heebie-jeebies, but other than that, I think it was pretty good.
Okay, you guys, so let's unbox the Hello Lovely. This is the blind holiday with a box or something of another. I was so excited to get this. I think this was like a Christmassy kind of box, um, but it, it just sold to me. I don't believe we know what the books are in here, so I'm really excited. I do know what one of the books is because it was spoiled by another booktuber, but I'm not mad at it because it made me even more excited to get the box and it prevented me from getting a duplicate because that book was on my wish list and I was gonna buy it. And that book was Window Shopping by Tessa Bailey. I actually had it on my wish list and it was the highest priority and I had sent that wish list to everybody in my family. They're probably not gonna buy me books though. So anyways, Window Shopping by Tessa Bailey. I'm so excited about it and this is actually a special cover. And so the books come sealed in a little plastic wrap. So it's paperback and look at this. This is actually so pretty you guys. I love the green and pink like I just I actually like this better than the regular cover. Two weeks before Christmas and all through Manhattan, shop windows are decorated in red and green satin. I'm sitting alone in front of the famous Vivant department store when a charming man named Aiden asks my opinion of the decor. It's a tragedy in tinsel, I say unable to lie. He asks for a better idea with a twinkle in his eye. Did I know he owned the place? No, he put me on the spot. Now I'm working for that man, trying to ignore that he's hot. But as a down-on-her-luck girl with a difficult past, I know an opportunity when I see one and I have to make it last. I'll put my heart and soul into dressing his holiday windows. I'll work without stopping. And when we lose the battle with temptation, I'll try and remember I'm just window shopping. I am obsessed with this. Oh my gosh, I love this. It, it freaking rhymes. Like, come on, Tessa. Like, you didn't have to do this, girl. You didn't have to do it. I'm so excited. I think this is going to be one of the books that I take with me on my commute home um, for the holidays. And I'm so excited. <laughs> the next book is Cherry Bomb by Carmel Rose. I like that the little mouth has a gap. The representation, I feel it. I am I'm happy to be seen. So this is really cute. Love it. It's, My heart doesn't beat, it ticks. It's been that way since I was 16 years old and I caught my sister in bed with my boyfriend. Wow, just the first sentence, y'all. I gave my heart to a boy who didn't deserve it, then spent the next few years indulging in hard drugs and even harder sex. Life is easier when you don't get attached, casual, no commitments, that's the rule. At least it was before he came along. Cash Davidson is the tattoo prince who walked into the restaurant where I worked and turned my life upside down. He is everything I never knew I needed. That's just one problem. Tick, tick, tick. He's my best friend's dad. Boom. I love this. <laughs> So, like I said, age gap is pretty cool if it's like both consenting adults, but if it's like, oh, she's barely adult or something like that, or if it's anything about like fetishizing virginity, it's it's creepy to me and I just can't get with that fetish. So, um, I'm excited about this. Like, my best friend's dad? Like, come on, that sounds really cool. Are these signed? You guys, it is signed! I have a signed copy from freaking Tessa Bailey. Are you kidding me? Are all of these signed? Okay, this one is signed as well. These are signed. I didn't even check the other box to see. You guys, I have not been checking the signature. These are signed as well. Wait, so all I care about is this one. If this is signed. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's signed. So all of those are signed. Okay, um, <laughs> I just saw this random card come out. Okay, I'm so happy. I did not check to, for signatures in my last, uh, the last box, and I, <laughs> they're signed. I just love signed books so much. Okay, I'm seeing another book. This one is The Rogue King, and it's by Abigail Owen. This is Infernal Rising, book one. Ooh, so it's a fantasy. Kezia Amon is a master at hiding. Who and what she is makes her mark for the entire supernatural world, especially dragon shifters. To them, she's treasure to be taken and claimed, a golden ticket to their highest throne. But she can't stop bursting into flames, and there's a sexy dragon shifter in town hunting for her. As a road dragon, Bran Aster Asterot has spent his, his life in the dark. 
Shunned by his own kind, concealing his true identity, only his dangerous reputation ensures his survival. Delivering a phoenix to the feared Blood King will bring him one step closer to the revenge he waited centuries to take. No way is he letting the feisty beauty get away. But when Kazia sparks a white-hot need in him that's impossible to ignore, Bran begins to form a new plan, claim her for himself, and take back his birthright. This is cute, and it's also signs, okay? And inside the box is a mug that says Snuggle Season. Okay, so there is, looks like a candle. It says Comfy AF, Warm Cider and Cozy Reads. Oh my god, that smells good. Oh, it is so comforting. It does smell like warm cider. Oh, that smells so good. I love it. Okay. Next up, we have a peppermint lotion bar. This is from Winter Fresh. It has shea butter, coconut oil, beeswax, and peppermint essential oils. Mm. Okay, so this is how it looks. It is not my favorite. No, absolutely not. I do not like that. Like, no. Uh, <laughs> next up, we have tea drops. This is in the uh, flavor of apple pie. It says apple, allspice, lemon, and vanilla. This is also caffeine-free. Oh, okay, so this is tea. This is tea, and it's in a fun fun shape. So basically, you would pour in hot water, drop this in it, and it's it's tea. So that's pretty cool. I can't wait to try that. Okay, so my thoughts about this box. I'm happy because I got a signed edition of Tessa Bailey. So I don't know. Very happy about that. The only thing I dislike is the peppermint bar. It's just not my favorite scent. It's no, I, I just didn't like it. Um, but other than that, I am pretty happy with my with everything. And you got a good chunk of books in here. So I think it's pretty much worth the value that it costs. Okay, so next up, I got the Christmas box from Unplugged. This is my first time getting the Christmas box, but I believe they do this every single year. Um, and I'm pretty sure every year they have like a blanket in there. I have a ton of blankets already, but I do still love getting them. It's my favorite kind of gift. Um, but let's see what they did this time. So, um, like I said, this is the Unplugged Cozy Christmas Limited Edition box. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I totally knew that they were going to have a blanket. And this is a beautiful, like, teal color. And it's so cute. So this is a plush Sherpa, 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 ah, Sherpa, gosh, <laughs> Sherpa throw i can't talk um but yeah this is so cool i'm so excited about this i don't know how long it would be it's so it's so cute though that like i probably could like gift it to someone like look how cute is packaged this is really cute the next thing i am seeing is a christmas whisk we whisk you a merry christmas with this unplugged exclusive whisk whip up some delicious christmas treats on a cozy night in during this holiday season so it's this green whisk which reminds me a little bit of the grinch so cool next up it looks like we got a candle this is the christmas dress candle so it says get cozy with your christmas theme book and this delightful candle made exclusively for this box by natural pure honest it's really pretty oh my gosh look at that you guys i'm just gonna put it back there it was cute though all right, next up we have a whipped soap. This is the Christmas Escaped Whipped Soap. It says, escape into Sarah Morgan's book with this delicious lush whipped soap made exclusively for this box by, by Nature's Whimsy. Ooh, it smells like peppermint and candy cane. Oh my gosh, look at that, so cute. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Okay, so next up we have a Nornia wine tumbler. There is no tale more cozy and wintry. Then the Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. This wine tumbler is an unplugged exclusive design by Team Unplugged. And it has a quote on it that says, Some journeys takes us far from home. Some adventures leads us to our destiny. How cute. And Mama loves her wine. So, ooh, you guys. Next up, we have a gluten-free sugar cookie mix. These is, uh, this is with gourmet ingredients, more texture and delectable taste. Ooh, you guys, we have two books. So I'm already seeing a nameplate here on top of one of the books. 
so let's open one okay so the first book is the christmas escape it says the christmas escape by sarah morgan is the perfect christmas tale get cozy and enjoy this one released in late october through harper Co harper collins <laughs> and also the other book is the christmas dress by courtney cole the Christmas Dress is a fun and cozy Christmas story. We hope you love it. It was released in October through HarperCollins. All right, let's see. Is this one signed? Okay, so it looks like this one's not signed and there's not a nameplate in here. So my thoughts. There were so many items in this box. I don't remember how much it cost, but I, I never do because it's literally been so long since because I think you pre-ordered these things. But I'm happy. Like this was a good amount of things. Not all, you got two books that were Christmas related um, and I got it in time enough to read it for Christmas. So that's really cool. Um, and I got some like like cute like self-care items and a wine tumbler like it's literally everything I need for a perfect cozy night in and favorite gift so next up we have my past items sale items I believe they had a past item sale at Fay Crate dirt like around Black Friday maybe even October I think it was like late October um I'm just getting it now today is December 20th um let's see I'm gonna look to see when I ordered it okay so it looks like I ordered it on October 20th and I'm just getting it on December 20th so that means two months late it took them two months to get it to me All right. so the first thing I am seeing is I got this pride and prejudice hat um this was five dollars and on the front it says obstinate I don't know oh it says obstinate headstrong girl in pink and of course, you guys know that I ordered it because it was pink, and I love that. Next up, I got a nightlight. This was also $5, I believe. Yeah, no, this was $6. So it's literally just a nightlight, and I don't know what it's inspired by. I think it's Illuminae, maybe. So this is how it looks. Next up, I got this nail kit. This was only $2, and at the time, I thought it was really cute to have some nail stuff, like some things to do your nails with. I thought it was cool. So it comes with, like, a little nail clipper, some scissors, you know, things to give yourself, like, a little manicure on the go. Next up, I got a coaster set. It's I thought it was cool. Um, this, was, this was $2, and this is the Faux Suede Sip Coaster Set. So this one says, I don't give a sip, and it's in pink, like, font. I really like that. And then this one says, Sip Happens, and it's in green. Next up, we got the barrette set. This one was $2. I don't personally know why I got it. I just think that when my hair is like this, I think it'll look cute with a barrette on it. Um, but yeah. And the last bookish item I got was this notepad. This one was also $2. This is the Star Daughter Extra Large Notepad. And it has it it's in the form of like a book review almost so that's really cool and i also picked up some five dollar books from them the first one is the weight of a soul and this is hardcover let me see if it's signed so this isn't signed but it does come with a signed nameplate then i got conventionally yours this is a book that was on my wish list because i really wanted to read it but i didn't want to buy it so Got it for five bucks with a signed nameplate. The last book I got was Loved Unscripted by Owen Nichols. And there's also a signed nameplate as well. I completely forgot that I also got a sleeping mask. This one was two bucks as well. And I think it was incredibly stupid for me to buy this because I get these all the time in my book boxes. So there's no point in me buying an extra one. I think I must have just really liked the quote, which says, I'd rather be in bed with my book. And I just think that that is really cute. So I got it. So that was everything that came in the past item sale. I think that this was a really good deal. Like the books were $5, they're signed, and all of the items was like $2. Like I didn't spend anything over $5, well besides the nightlight, but I think it was a really good deal. My only pet peeve with this one is that it took forever to get here. Two months is just a little too long to get something that you ordered. Okay, you guys, and I saved the biggest and the best for last. I have already opened this and reorganized it so that it, you know, is easier to film. It was, um, yeah, it has a ton of items in it, and it costs the most that I've ever spent on a book box ever. This box, I believe, was 300 and something. 
which is insane. I know. So this is a black romance subscription box. It's for people who want to not only read more by black authors, but also indie black romance authors. Had to really specify that. You know, they have them separated in different boxes based on the author, and I just could not for the life of me figure out which one I wanted to get. So I scrolled down and I saw that they were like, you can get everything in this box for like $300. So I bought that one. So let's go through it. Okay, so since I bought everything and everything was just placed in this giant box, I'm going to try to be as organized as possible and show you guys the things that are supposed to come in each of the different boxes. So let me read this. It says, congratulations. You're receiving what is probably the largest collection of black romance you will ever get at one time. Here you have five amazing authors who will blow you away with every single line. You will feel joy, hurt, excitement, frustration, anticipation, and most definitely sexy. The season of Given Box has a variety of topics. Jacinta is giving you that college romance with that music love. Nicole is giving you that taboo sexy love. Kennedy is giving you that tumultuous love. Ray is giving you that struggle love. And Christina is giving you that classic black romance love. Every single book in this box is amazing. Happy holidays from Reader. So it looks like the first box is from Jacinta Howard. And the everything is sectioned off by this cute little bow. So let's see. I am seeing a custom bookmark. It is wrapped in its uh, music note. It is a pretty music note with a tassel on it. And it kind of looks like an S for like cigarette. So bonus for me. I got an ebook. This is the Love Below from the Glimpse series. And then I got 10% off of her merch. So now on to the books that I received. The first one I received is Happiness in Jersey by Jacinta Howard. All of these are by Jacinta. Ooh, so this kind of reminds me of Sweatpants Season by Danielle Al Allen. I don't know if you guys, but she's another black romance author. But um, her book was about this girl who was like a photographer or writer, I believe. I don't remember, but I know she was like taking a photography class and she meet this guy and they was kind of all like, mm, I don't like you. They had like this bad like little first first introduction. And they ended up being like partners in the class and so they had to work together but they didn't like each other and then they kept bumping into each other and then they ended up working together in another it was just such a great book I, I can't really explain it but you should check it out it's on Kindle Unlimited next up we have Finding Kennedy this is by Jacinta you know it Finding Kennedy when Kennedy James unexpectedly shows up at her grandmother's house in Tyler, Texas, no one knows what to make of her arrival, including her. The only thing Kennedy does know is that something in her life has to change, and it needs to happen right now. She's been numb for too long. Then she meets Travis Bouchard, the perceptively cool guitarist of the indie soul band The Prototype. The timing couldn't be worse, but their attraction is instant, magnetic, and at times overwhelming, causing Kennedy to question if it's possible to feel too much. As Kennedy attempts to embark on a new path, she finds herself at a crossroads. But if she chooses to follow her heart, is she preparing to deal with what she finds? His name sounds familiar. Did he like come from this book and, and date this guy? Or is it like somebody related to him? I don't know. <laughs> I think this is a series so maybe like he's like moving on and they broke up I don't know the next book is keeping willow all right so this one says Devin Walker drummer for the prototype has one priority turning his alt soul band into the superstar act it's destined to become singularly focused on his music his creative passion is all-consuming that is until he crosses path with his best friend's college roommate willow harden willow was drawn to devon from the moment she first met him and, and when devon does finally look willow's way she's easily seduced from her protective bubble into the lure of his fast-paced ambitions though at times she wonder if she can handle it Unable to resist their potent chemistry, Devin and Willow free fall into a relationship that makes them question each other and doubt themselves. Devin knows he should probably leave her alone. Willow knows life for her might not be any good without him. Can they possibly make their love work? And if so, at what cost? Ooh. And the last book we have, I think this is called the Prototype Series. <laughs> So this one says, Cassandra James thinks she has her place in the world all figured out, but an expected betrayal forces her to ask if her free black girl vibe is a myth or worse, a mask to hide herself from the world. 
Bam Mosley, keyboardist for the alt soul band The Prototype, knows who he is. He just wants to make good music and see the people he cares about win. Then he meets her. Sure, Cassandra is gorgeous and smart with hypnotic eyes, but his bandmate's sister wasn't supposed to be this disruptive and break down all his defenses. She sees what he hides from everyone else. He allows her to take off her mask. But is their connection powerful enough to survive life's low notes? Or maybe the true test of love is knowing when to let go. That is the end of the prototype series. Wow, you guys. So four books. So I think that that was a bundle by itself. So you got four books and a bookmark. That was really cool. Um, are they signed? No, so these books are not signed. So let's move on to the next bundle. Okay, so the next bundle is the Nicole Falls. So this one also comes with three books. It's just printed in one book. So it comes with Adore You, Smitten, and Then Came You. We also got an audiobook from Audible, and I can't say the name of this book, but it's called F and Fall in Love. And the last thing we got was a t-shirt voucher from a store. But good news, you guys, the power of editing and also my laziness of not filming it right away, I actually have the shirt. Yes, so I went ahead and ordered the shirt and I put it in the box so that I could show you guys how the shirt looks. So there were several shirts to choose one, but I chose this one that says, reading is my self care. So it's just a beautiful like black shirt with, you know, that written on it and can't wait to wear it. And it's true. Reading is my self care. Devorah Lee has spent her adult life searching for a guy who has the zing, but has has a penchant for falling for the wrong guy. Enter Elise Taylor, the notorious playboy brother of her ex, who's on a mission to show her he's Mr. Right. That's adore you, you guys. So the next one is Smitten. Selena Payne was heartbroken, ghosted by her most recent ex. She was over the whole romance thing. It says thang. Instead, she was focused on her career, family, and friends until Kareem Hope had recently moved back into his hometown to help his mother care for his ailing grandmother. Between family obligations and opening a new business, he was a busy man with little time for socializing. A spontaneous night out led to a chance meeting, sparks flying, romance brewing. Selena and Kareem's undeniable chemistry altered their lives in ways neither could have imagined. All right, and then the last one, Then Came You. Damon Patterson is craving a new start and the opening of his pastry shop is just the beginning. He's got something to prove and is hyper-focused on being professionally successful. Damon isn't seeking long-term entanglements, which works perfectly for Patricia Payne, a single mother who is on the hunt for a man with a particular set of skills. <laughs> a chance meeting put them in each other's orbit and they're immediately attracted. Both the Damon and Patricia comes with a little bit of baggage, but that is irrelevant as they become friends with benefits. What began as carnal needs being met eventually evolves into deeper feelings, which neither Damon nor Patricia are equipped to handle. Then came you follow these two individuals as they journey through passion tinge attraction, fighting to keep it casual, but eventually succumbing to that four letter word. Oh, that is so cute so it's like a collection of like novellas that is in this really thick book so that's really cool all right so finally we get to the bundle that if I had to choose I would have gotten this one so this is the Kennedy Ryan set and I'm so excited I don't think I've ever actually read a Kennedy Ryan book but um, I, I've heard of her so that's why I would have chosen this one. So this one comes with two books. So let's see. So the first one is her latest book, which is Real by Kennedy Ryan, of course. And the next one is Hookshot. We also get the audiobook to Hookshot, which is really cool because sometimes I like to listen to audiobooks. We also get some bookmarks for both of the books. We got some movie slash game time snacks. I'm not really sure. There's multiple snacks in this box. So I'm assuming that these are the Kennedy Ryan ones. So I got a thing of Skittles, which is cool. Got a thing of M&M's and a thing of Starbucks, all pink. I love this. I didn't even know they make all pink. Like those are my favorite ones of the Starbucks. So really happy about that and the next set we got is the ray lease this is the saving sunflower 
series, I, I believe. So once again, it comes wrapped in a bow. I am seeing a bookmark, so let's get that out the way. It comes with three physical books. So the first one is Saving Sunflower. This is the Sunflower series. The next one is the uh, the End Game. And finally, we have Bunny. In this box, we also get an extra large tote, and it says the Sun series, Glory, Inspiration, Understanding. Okay, so um, this one is also saying that we got book-related snacks as well. So I'm assuming that the three items that I just showed that were food, I think they are like split between the Kennedy Ryan and this box. So I'm not really sure which one is which. Okay, so finally we got a Christina C. Jones box. So this one has the Holiday in the Heights, uh, which is a collection of novellas. So let me show you guys. Here we are. Um, so it says, for, for five couples, these days will never just be another space on the calendars again. Ooh. So I'm guessing it's like five novellas that uh, follow the lives of five people. I'm not really sure, but that's what it seems like. So the names of the novellas is Grow Something, Bittersweet, Frosted, Whipped, and Buttered. We also get another one. So, I'm sh so it says plus one, which is press rewind. It says plus one, plus one, press rewind. So I don't know what that one is. We also get the audiobook of In the Heights. And we get a customized mug, which is this right here. So this is the mug. It just says Urban Grind. And it's like a reddish, kind of brownish red, burgundy kind of color with yellow font. Cute. We get a wax poetic wax melt made by Christina herself. Wow. So, oh, it's in the in the scent Black Santa. That is so cool. And I like how it looks. Kind of reminds me of, what's that cake that no one wants? Fruitcake. It definitely looks like a fruitcake here. So that is really cute. So I couldn't really figure out which one had the this in, but this is like a lip balm, but it's like this shiny like gold, like little lip balm that you would use. And everything came in this Santa bag, which is really cool. So I really didn't go over what the books were about. So let me just read some of these. Um, so for Hook Shot by Kennedy Ryan, divorced single dad traded to a losing squad, cheated on, betrayed, exposed, my perfect life blew up in my face and I'm still picking up the pieces. The last thing I need is her, a wildflower, a storm, a woman I can't resist. Lotus Dupree is a kick to my gut and a wrench in my plans from, a, from the moment our eyes met. I promised myself I wouldn't trust a woman again, but I've never wanted anyone the way I want it low. She's not the plan I made, but she's the risk I have to take. A warrior, a baller, the one they call gladiator. Keenan Ross charged into my life, smelling all good, looking even better, and snatching my breath from the moment we met. The last thing I need is him. I'm working on me, focusing my pain and conquering my demons. I've seen what trusting a man gets you. I don't have time for this. But he just keeps coming for me keeps knocking down my defenses and stealing my excuses one by one. He never gives up, and now I'm not sure I want him to. Ooh, okay. Chow, if he looks like this guy on the cover, don't. <laughs> don't let him give up. Okay. Oh, this one actually comes with a signed book plate, which is really cool. So this one is real. All right, one moment in the spotlight. Four months, I stood by an understudy waiting in the wings, preparing for my time to shine. I never imagined he would walk in the audience that night. Cannon Holt, famous film director, fascinated, talented, fine. Before I could catch my breath, everything changed. I went from backstage Broadway to center stage Hollywood, from being unknown to my name, Neva Saint, on everyone's lips. Cannon cast me in a star-studded Harlan Renaissance biopic, catapulting me into another stratosphere. But stars shine brightest in the dead of night. Forbidding attraction, scandal, and circumstances beyond my control jeopardizes my dream. Could this one shot, the role of a lifetime, the love of a lifetime, cost me everything? Now, let's go over the Sunflower series. We have Bunny, 
Desmond Simmons' life is at an impasse. After a tragic near-death experience, he's, he's left struggling to pick up the pieces of an existence that grown monotonous. He's so sure he's stuck until an old neighbor reappears, turning his new, uneventful life upside down. While reconnecting, the two embark on a journey that leaves them grappling with their new lives and falling back into a whimsical world full of secrets they created as children to escape reality. They soon learn that outrunning the truth isn't as easy as it once was, but that doesn't mean they won't give it a try. This one is a really thick one, so nervous about that one. And then we have the end game. This one says, Josiah Joseph is trouble. At least that's what everyone says about him. Jay Taylor can't help but to agree with their sentiments. He's a hot-headed football player and one of her most lackluster students. She's a young mother and a laser-focused teacher's assistant, counting the days until graduation. After the two cross paths at a wild party, Jade makes a discovery about the volatile quarterback that sends her on a quest to understand who Josiah Joseph is and why he suddenly become enamored with her. Finally, we have Saving Sunflower. Dominic DeBlanc is a wayward street hustler and part-time rapper constantly running from a past that haunts him. With a bleak outlook on life, he founds himself teetering between two worlds, a seedy one where he's not guaranteed to see his 22nd birthday, and a promising one that might bring him recognition for his talent. After a chance encounter with a peculiar waitress, he found himself engulfed in a friendship he never knew he needed. However, his complex life and reckless decision challenge their already complicated bond. All right, so that was everything in all of my boxes. Uh, so my thoughts on the reader box, of course, you guys already know this was a fantastic box. Yes, it was a lot of money, but I got a lot of indie romances from black authors that I didn't really know about, except for Kennedy Ryan. I, I knew about her beforehand, but I'm excited to give these a try and I got some pretty awesome things. So no regrets, okay? never any regrets. Um, I would definitely suggest checking out the monthly subscription because they are really good. Like I've posted at least two of them on my channel already. So if you're interested, definitely check those out. Um, but so far I really enjoyed all of my boxes. I don't think I got anything that I really didn't like. So yeah, that was everything. So sorry that this video was so long, but yeah, thank you guys for watching my videos. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.